All right, and we are off. Today is day 98 of the year of streaming and learning to code. We are continuing on at 14% of the way through learning React.js part one here at Code Academy. Dun, 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 dun. Let's spin that. <coughs> All right, so we've done the intro to JSX. Now we're doing advanced JSX. And uh, we're, we're just going to basically hit the ground running. No, no major introduction for today. If it loads, hopefully, fingers crossed. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So here we've got, how many sections do we have? 16 sections. All right, go time. Class versus class name. In this lesson, we'll cover more advanced JSX. You'll learn some powerful tricks and some common errors to avoid. Grammar in JSX is mostly the same as HTML, but there are subtle differences to watch out for. Probably the most frequent of these involves the word class. In HTML, it's common to use class as an attribute name. H1 class equals big A H1. In JSX, you can't use the word class. You have to use class name instead. H1 class name equals big A. Hey, speaking of hey, hey Topher, how you doing? Perfect timing. We just, we're just going through section one out of uh, 16. So yeah, right? Tons of fun. Right at the beginning. This is lesson two of section one. I don't know how to word all there. We keep mixing them up, but it's the advanced JSX section. Continuing on from last night, right? right good times all right so we've got class we've got class name this is because jsx gets translated into javascript and class is a reserved word in javascript when jsx is rendered jsx class name attributes are automatically rendered rendered as class attributes blah, 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 blah. tons of fun is my nickname uh tofers Tofer's here just in time to bring the jokes. Thank God. I was concerned it was just going to be 16 sections of nonsense. Good, good. Tofer will be here to keep our spirits high, right? All right. Instructions. One, on line five, declare a new variable named my div and set my div equal to a JSX div element. In between your div tags, write the text, I am a big div. Wow, that is all caps. That's a lot of div to handle. You give your div the following attribute, class name equals big. Is that all we're doing? We're just, we're, we're, yep, we're just hitting the ground running. Hitting the ground running. All right, variable, my div. Is that right? Yep, capital D. My div equals, oh god. They want the curly braces or parentheses. Kind of feel like they do. I'm already drawing a blank on what we did last night, but I thought there was stuff going on or curly braces. And if there are, maybe jumping ahead because they're just asking for us to shove class name equals big. We'll look at their example. Yeah, no, no. Death. We're just gonna do div. We're gonna see what they what what they yell at us for doing wrong. Um here we go. Here it's here it again. And div, div, I 
copy big div and maybe that's all on the same thing yeah it it seems like they want it all on the same thing it's just yesterday we had it all stacked and indented nicely we're doing class name equals big You said big div, right? That was a V sound I hear? Just checking? Yeah? Ah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I see what you're hinting out. Yes. Phallic jokes. <laughs> uh, good, good. Keeping us on our toes. All right. There's that. Let's see what uh, Code Academy has to say about this. Run. Interesting. If you put it on separate lines, wrap it in parentheses. Oh, interesting. Okay, so if I do put it on separate lines, wrap it in parentheses. Otherwise, leave it. Leave it together. So did that? That gives green check mark. Underneath your div, recall the DOM dot render for DOM dot renders first argument. Pass in my div, comma, document dot get element by id app. If you render div as a class of big, and it should look big in the browser. We're gonna leave it on a uh, one line for now. Um, that seems relatively okay. <clears throat> All right. So React DOM dot render. React DOM dot render. God, I'm totally drawing a blank. Uh, was it early braces? I do not recall. Bad, Steven. Bad. It wasn't even 24 hours ago that we were doing this. We get we get my div. Maybe it was just parentheses. Either way, we've got my div, comma, document. You know, we're just going to steal it. We are. We really are. I think it is curly braces, because this dude has parentheses inside maybe it was parentheses we're gonna see how they feel about that run it yeah yeah wrong oh look at this down here react dom dot render in parentheses it was me i messed up on the parentheses exactly what i was concerned about should have known it my spidey senses were telling me i was wrong should have listened to him Wow, that is holy. That is a big diff. They were not kidding. Sweet mother of. All right, one of 16 down. Good, good. And the nightmare continues. Section two, self closing tags. Another JSX, gotcha, involves self closing tags. What's a self closing tag? Most HTML elements use two tags an opening tag, div, and a closing tag, slash div. However, some HTML elements, such as image and input, use only one tag. The tag that belongs to a single tag element isn't an opening tag, nor a closing tag, it's a self-closing tag. When you write a self-closing tag in HTML, it is optional to include a forward slash immediately before the final angle bracket. Ha. Huh. Fine in HTML with a slash. Also fine without slash. But in JSX, you have to include the slash if you write a self-closing tag in JSX and forget the slash. You will raise an error. Okay, words of the wise. Always bring a slash 
finding JSX, tell a slash. Not finding JSX, no slash. Have your slash with you, all right? In app.jsx, fix the broken JSX by adding slashes to all the self-closing tags. Hell yeah, time to get slashy. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We got div, we got h1, image, slash tag, bam, article, line break, bam, slash tag, and another slash tag. Thanks a lot. What is this? I'm Jenkins. I like to sit. Jenkins is my name. Thanks a lot. Huh, interesting. Not sure what dialect or uh, accent Jenkins has, but clearly he's not from around here. Run. Hopefully, waiting on that green check mark. Or a friendly red air to tell us why we suck. And all we did was slashes. I don't feel like it should, should take this long to uh, think. You know? really thinking about it. I don't know what to do. Do we reset it? Did I do too many slashes? Did I need to include a space? They've got BR space slash. Mine's just break slash. You think that may be an issue? Maybe. Maybe we're gonna we're gonna restart this party and refreshing and we're refreshing. Good, good, good. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, hopefully the code editor loads, and we're just gonna cram a space or two in between all this nonsense. Break space and break space, and we're gonna try that on for size. Run it. It liked that one. I don't know why it just fell into the abyss when there was no space between break and slash, but apparently there was. Maybe that's just a Code Academy issue, but who knows? Section 3 onwards, 3 of 16. So far, we've focused on writing JSS. JSX expressions. God damn it. Why is that? <sighs> my, my, the... Math muscles, ah, 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 ah. don't work with the JSX. That is, that is a shortcoming of mine. Random thought, I really need to quit smoking. The new tax is absurd. Also, health stuff. Hey, if you need a new addiction, just play Breath of the Wild. You know, that'll take... That, you can probably fill all the time you spent smoking with playing Breath of the Wild. You know, that's... That's just another crazy person addict choice. That's that's what I've been doing every waking hour. It's uh I don't know how real real world life beneficial that is, but uh it feels great in the game. <laughs> uh just living in a dream world. But yeah, good times. Uh isn't the tax like something hilarious? I forget what the new tax is, but I forget who I was talking with about the tax, and it's um, it's a lot. It is a lot. I still think even with the tax that it's still cheaper than uh, Magic the Gathering, so, you know, at least you aren't hooked on Magic cards. Only so few people can afford an addiction like Magic, so. At least to get the good stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, okay onwards but yeah health stuff right that's that's still a good reason to to forego taking up another pack i suppose what are we doing what are we doing we got ah so far me and my my tongue twisters for jsx okay so far we focused on writing jsx expressions it's similar to writing bits of html but inside of a JavaScript file. In this lesson, we're going to add something new, regular JavaScript written inside of a JSX, JSX, fuck, 
expression written inside of a JavaScript file. Whoa, exactly. Exactly. Don't mind me. Yeah, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. All right. Starting on line five, carefully write the following code. What do you think will appear in the browser? React.render h1 2 plus 3 h1 dom element. I, I think there's going to be a, a 5 floating over here in the results tab, probably. Before April 1st, it was 6 bucks a pack. Now it's 10? Are you kidding me? And you're not getting twice as many cigarettes, but you're paying twice as much? Holy... What are they doing with the extra $4 a pack? They better be curing child cancer or something. Let me tell you, that's going to buy someone one really impressive helicopter. That's, that's what that's going to do. Good God. That's, that is a lot. Huh. That's like a really big increase. It's nearly double. All right. Anyways, despite how alarming the new, new tax is on that, let's, let's figure out the render issue. We're, we're left with birthing a five here two plus three molds together and uh we're, we're left with the five they say write it out i was just going to copy it but we'll write it out we're still learning react dom dot render lowercase render render God, little cat why are your claws in my side just nap a snap. There's no need to dig your claws into my stomach. Okay, there's that. That looks good. Uh, do they tab? They do tab. H1, carrot, carrot, comma, H1, lash H1. We've got two plus three. I know I should have copied it, but I need the practice. Document dot get element element. Did I do that right? I feel like I've got way too many e's in there. Element. Good, good. Sound it out, Stephen. Um, dun, 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 dun. app. Oh, well, I set the quotes there for a reason. Might as well use them. And run. They said hit it when we're done. And we're running and we're run oh. Huh. I really thought it was gonna do something with the numbers. I thought it would have added two and three together. But no, it just shoved two and three on the screen. Hmm. See, I figured it would have done two and three if it were in strings, like if it was a string in quotes. So I figured it would have done mathy stuff without the quotes. That's why I was thinking five. All right, we're running. Uh, and then we did run, so now we're doing next. Four of 16. Uh, I work for the state government. I can guarantee the revenue from the taxes go to, goes to nothing productive. I bet. If you do two curly braces, uh, two plus three, it will add them. Interesting. Oh, and look, we're here. Curly braces in JSX. It's got Topher. It's like you read my mind. He can see the future. The code in the last exercise didn't behave as one might expect. Yeah, they knew this. They set us up. Fuckers. Instead of adding 2 and 3, it just printed out. 
2, and 3 as a string of text. It's that it, it, they read my mind too. Why? Let's find out why. This happens because 2 plus 3 is located between h1 and the closing h1 tags. Any code in between the tags of a JSX element will be read as JSX, not as regular JavaScript. JSX does not add numbers. It reads them as text, just like HTML. You need to write code that says, even though I'm located between JSX tags, treat me like ordinary JavaScript and not like JSX. You can do this by wrapping your code in curly braces. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. One, add a pair of curly braces to the code from the last exercise so that your JSX expression looks like this. Curly braces. A retang inside your curly braces will be treated as regular JavaScript. Beautiful. Like magic. Curly and curly. And we're running and we're running. Here comes a five. Yep, that's right. I said five. Thing friendly five, but then I just committed to five and we stumbled out of there. Speaking of five, we're moving on from section four to ta -da, section five of 16, 20 digits of pi in JSX. Sounds very interesting. That was a pie joke. Get it? Very pie? No? Laugh, damn it. That's a, that was the high point in the stream. <laughs> Straight down from there. All right. You can now interject, not interject. I'm getting lazy with my reading, and I saw the inject and regular, and I, I carried the R from here and tried to smash it in between, and uh, I came up with confusion. All right. You can now inject regular JavaScript into JSX expressions. This will be extremely useful. In the code editor, you can see a JSX expression that displays the first 20 digits of pi. Study the expression and notice the following. The code is written in a JavaScript file. By default, it will be treated as regular JavaScript. Okay, pi.js regular javascript here cool no it's written in a javascript file and it'll be treated as regular javascript okay oh yes it'll be treated so we need to do the curl braces all right good 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 don't mind me i was just trying to piece together their little nightmare they got going on here find div on line five line five line five good and we're divving from there up through the closing what from there up through the closing div will be treated as jsx they mean down right down from there down to the maybe that's up who knows <laughs> i feel like they need to shoot their navigator whoever the instructional person was that's just me, but I've been frustrated for the last 98 days at their instructions. Find math dot something, which we did. From there up through, they did it again, those bastards. Is that seriously up? Is that how the coding community refers to it directionally? You say from line 5 up through 20? And no one's lit their work on fire in frustration. That's just a me thing, right? Line numbers are going up, not down. Are you kidding me? I mean, I get the numbers are counting up, but directionally... So it's because the line numbers are counting up, that's why they're referring to it as up. Oh. We're not going down to 20. That's just a Steven thing. I just need to get used to that. We're working on codes from five, line 5 down to 18. No, up. I can't even say it out loud or think through it. That just doesn't make sense. We're working on codes. I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. We're working on codes 
our code from line 5 up to 18. I can't do it. Maybe it's a visual thing. If I don't look it, I can say it. But seeing that the code is working its way down the screen, I digress. <sighs> Despite how infuriating it is, we won't jump out the window. Something about math on line 20 will be uh, treated as regular JavaScript. The curly braces themselves won't be treated as JSX, nor as JavaScript. They are markers that signal the beginning and end of a JavaScript injection into JSX, similar to the quotation marks that signal the boundaries of a string. Okay, okay. That's a good note. This is a fun inter... Uh, I guess? Interjection? Injection? I feel like so rarely do they explain the why bit. They did a good explanation there of explaining what exactly and how the curly braces are functioning. That's fun. That makes our soul feel good. Instructions. Let's do this. Select app.js. Declare a new variable named math. Set math equal to JSX h1 element with the following text inside of h1. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, app here. Good. Write code. Declare new variable name math. Variable. Here we go. Just don't overthink it. Variable equals, you know, it's, it's nothing. No big deal. H1. H. H1. One. Two. Kind of want to put it in quotes and on multiple lines. Slash H one. Put the following text inside of blah diddly blah. Do they want curly braces? Run that. One green check mark. Cool. At the bottom of the file, call React on render. React on render. First argument, pass in math. And lastly, we're going to do you. Okay, running, running. We are staying afloat. 2 plus 3 plus blah, as you probably expected. The equation was displayed as a string. Insert a pair of curly braces into the H1 so that the browser displays. Blah, dilly, blah. And that means we only do it around a portion of it. Eh? Right? So now we're doing it here. Curly braces. Blah. Nice. Three green check marks. Beautiful. Six of 16. We are slowly making progress. When you inject JavaScript into JSX, that JavaScript is part of the same environment as the rest of the JavaScript in your file. That means you can access variables while inside of a JSX expression, even if those variables were declared on the outside. Declare a variable, variable name, Urdu, that, that a thing? Gurdu. Hmm. Weird. Access your variable from inside JSX expression. Variable greeting hello. Shpla. Instructions. Replace react.dom renders first argument with a JSX h1 using curly braces set the h1 inner text equal 
to the best string. Here we go. Here we go. We've got variable, the best string, tra la 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 la, I'm the best. Cool. And we're going to replace the first argument with h1, curly braces, inner text, h1, copy, light shoving of h1, curly braces to match, followed by the best, gives us running, what do we get, green check mark, or Angry green or angry red air? No. Green check mark. Tra la 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 la. I am the best. Way cool. Way cool. We made it out. Six alive. Section seven. When writing JSX, it's common to use variables to set attributes. Here's an example of how that might work. Use a variable to set the height and width attributes. Variable side length equals 200 pixels. Variable panda equals image source image slash panda alt panda height side length width side length. Hmm, they're both the same. Oh, because variable side length is 200 pixels. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Notice how in this example the images attributes each get their own line. This can make your code more readable if you have a lot of attributes on one element. Object properties are also often used to set attributes. Variable pick, panda, owl, owl cat. I wonder if that's similar to owl bear. Like uh, Dungeons and Dragons? Maybe? Owl bear? No? Perhaps. Variable panda, image, source, picks, panda, alt, lazy panda, variable owl, source, picks, dot, owl, alt, unimpressed owl, typical, unimpressed owls, the worst, right? Variable owl cat, <laughs> source, picks, dot, owl, holy crap, I read the alternate text first. Oh, it's, it's ghastly abomination. I read something different. Okay. I, I saw the abomination part, and that's what I, I chuckled at. I thought it said ghostly, but that's okay. Ghastly abomination. Uh, I'm sure Pia wouldn't like to see money being donated to, to science to create owl cats, although I would actually be fine with that. I think an owl cat sounds bitchin'. Probably be painful to make, but uh, I think it'd be worth it. Alright, on line 7, declare a new variable named goose image? What the hell's a goose image? Set its value equal to a JSX image element. Give the image an attribute with a source. Set the attribute's value equal to the variable goose. We're basically creating the same song and dance as up here. Okay. Okay. Let's check out what to do. We keep hearing sounds. Nice, nice, nice. Dum, 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 dum. Let's do this. Line seven, the variable goose image. Let me get goosey. Goose at its value equal to JSX image equals ing attribute name of source hold on should we do it on multiple lines like them maybe not we'll we'll stick with one for now all of their examples are multi-sourced. Or not multi-sourced, multi-line. Yeah, we'll do we'll do the multi-line paradigm. Should we include alternate? I'm just I'm always so hesitant to stray from their examples because 
sometimes they're very broad with what we can do, but a lot of the times there's some serious odd ones where it needs to be just right. And my favorite is when it needs to be just right, but they don't tell you in the instructions, but it needs to be perfect. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Source. We'll leave it as one. Source equals... Is it at the attribute online seven? Create a new variable named goose image, which we've got. Set its value equal to JSX image. Give the image attribute with a name of source. Yeah. Set the attribute's value equal to the variable goose. Cool. So that's that. Run. Two. Use React DOM render to render goose image. First argument should be goose image. Second argument should be blah. Go time. There we go. There we go. Render copy. Comma. Goose image. Didum 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 didum. Running, running. Green check mark. Hey, I made a goose. Look at that. Cool. All right, 816. Event listeners. Here we go. There's a lot. There's a lot going on here. JSX elements can have event listener. Is that right? Yeah, listeners. Just like in HTML elements. What, what, what? No, this is all falling apart. Bad, Steven. Bad. Try again, from the top. This time less sucking. JSX elements can have event listeners just like HTML elements can. Programming in React means constantly working with event listeners. You can create an event listener by giving a JSX element a special attribute. Here's an example. Image, on click, my function. An event listener's attributes name should be something like on click or on mouse over the word on plus the type of event you're listening for. You can see a list of valid event names here. Oh, we should click on it. It's red. An event listener's attributes value should be a function. An above exa uh, the above example would only work if my function were a valid function that had been defined elsewhere. Function my function, alert, make my function, e function, oh my god, that was horrible, I'm so sorry. Image on click, my function. Okay. Note that in the HTML, event listener names are written in all lowercase, such as on click, on mouse over. In JSX, event listener names are written in camel case, such as on click, on mouse over. Oh, you know what? Maybe that makes sense. Okay, so this bit for uh the camel case issue versus all lowercase i was trying to figure out in the last course was was javascript was it javascript maybe it was jake it was jquery it was jquery actually maybe my issue jquery was really short that was only three hours it was either in jquery or javascript but there was some action word uh phrase and it was in all lowercase, and I could not figure out for the life of me why it was in all lowercase versus camel case, because everything else has been in camel case. You know, 90 for the last 98 days, or at that point, 90 plus days, everything had been in camel case except for 
like two or three activities out of the 90 plus days there were there would only be a few things where it was all lowercase stuff i know that's one word but still uh for render anyways that's all so i'm guessing it was an html thing where it was an event listener and they just didn't really go into detail on those i digress i saw the opportunity it sparked a memory of uh that time i was confused which is basically the last 98 days so uh yeah good 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 we're we're back to mousing on things uh in jsx event list event listener names are written in camel case such as on click on mouse over instructions look at line 17 and we're looking react dom dot render is being passed two null arguments render kitty by replacing the first null and the second null with a document app here comes the kitty I'm gonna get kitty like two and we're elementing kitty elements run it what do we get we get a kitty on a book well deserved kitty on a book add an on click attribute to the image element that on clicks value equal to make doggy function. Wow, this is gonna get super messy. Um, remember that since attributes are part of JSX expressions, you'll need to inject JavaScript in order to make use of doggy, which is the curly braces, I think. Click run, then click on the browser image to change the kitty into a doggy. Okay, okay. We're doing image, on click image. Am I, should I be seeing an image thing? Some, oh, I do see image here. Ta-da, the kitty image. At an on click, like so, on click, dog life. So, can I do... Should I just keep it on the first line, or should I add, should I drop it down to line 12? I'm going to keep it on the first line. Keeping it on the first line, keeping it on the first line. On click equals curly braces. Dog something. Okay, run it, and we click on the image. Hey, I birthed a puppy. Look at that. Fascinating. Who would have known? Who would have known? Okay, cool. So, we've, we've replaced said kitty with said puppy, and now we're moving on. Eight of nine. No, ah, just kidding, not 8 of 9. We, are, we finished 8. We're on 9 of 16. We are making progress. 9 of 16. We've passed the halfway point. The point of no return. Okay. Great work. You've learned how to use curly braces to inject JavaScript into a JSX expression. Here's a rule that you need to know. You cannot inject an if statement into a JSX expression. This code will break. Parenthesi h1 curly brace if purchase dot complete. Thank you for placing an order. Apparently that this will break the internet. If you want to know how to break the internet, do an if statement in in React and it'll fall apart. The reason why has to do with the way that JSX is compiled. You don't need to understand the mechanics of it. You don't need to understand the mechanics of it for now. But if you're interested, then you can learn more here. Oh, speaking of red here, we opened another one. We were supposed to look at some phrasing list or something. So we'll, we'll look at those two tabs shortly. What if you want a JSX expression to render? 
but only under certain circumstances. You can't inject an if statement. What can you do? You have lots of options. In the next few lessons, we'll explore some simple ways to write conditionals, expressions that are only executed under certain conditions in JSX. Okay. Before we jump to that, we're going to do this. <laughs> React. Facebook.github. Reported events. Oh, this was for the event listeners. Right. Clipboard event, composition event, keyboard, focus, form, mouse, selection, touch, UI, wheel, media, image, animation, and translation. All kinds of different things. Followed by something here. Conditionals and if statements. JSX in depth. Fundamentally, JSX provides syntactic sugar for the React.create. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Something of clicking on things and nulls and sidebars and uh, lots of interesting stuff for later on. Great. We're going to close out of this. We're going to close out of you. You're looking at section 10. Next. That's loading. Question. Any reason you're trying to learn React? Uh, Tofi's going through all the code accounting courses and was an excellent list. Exactly. Took it. Took it right out of. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh god, that's that's not right. Uh, here we go. This tab. Tiny detour. Will cat. I sense you. You and your tiny furry presence. What do you want? You want love? Look at that. He loves you. Yeah, I do. Conditionally. That's right, not unconditionally, conditionally. If you ruin the stream, I'm going to bop you on the head. So, find, find a new home, all right? Good, good. Elsewhere is preferred. You're, you're literally in the one spot that you shouldn't be. You can be in front of the webcam and not blocking the monitor, which is preferred. Just move. Just move a little. Oh, you're so great. No, not when you're right-clicking on the pa Oh my god, she's breaking the internet. Holy god, just, yes, go beneath the desk. Ah, not with claws. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, good. She's so graceful. Ah, and clawy. Anyways, we were looking at the catalog briefly. Yeah, uh, I'm just going through all the verses on Code Academy, and uh, finished JavaScript and jQuery. React was next. React, React Part Two, then Angular, and then we've got all kinds of Ruby fun on the horizon, which should be interesting. So yeah, that's that. That's what's happening. Close that. Go back to ten. Did she go back a page? Maybe I never hit next. Nine. Uh, here we go. Section ten of sixteen teen. Beautiful. All right. Here we go. We've got little kitty again. And did she move? Anything major? She didn't. She didn't. We're good. We are good. Das gut. How can you write a conditional if you can't inject an if statement into JSX? Well, one option is write an if statement and not inject into JSX. Huh. Look at if.js. Follow the if statement all the way from line 4 down to 16. <gasps> Look at this. Down. It said down instead of up. No? No one else? See? That makes sense, but apparently that's wrong. Anyways, if.js works because the word if and else are not injected between JSX tags, the if statement is on the outside and no JavaScript injection, injection is necessary. Ah, uh, we're outsourcing our if statement, essentially. This is a common way to express conditionals in JSX. Select app.jsx, starting on line 15, 
write an if else statement using if.jsx as a guide. If coin toss equals heads, then make variable image equal image source x kitty. Ending semicolon. Inside the else clause, make variable image image source picks doggy. In other words, if the coin lands on heads, then you should get a picture of kitty. If the coin lands on tails, then you should get a picture of a doggy. Good, good, good. So let's do this. Starting on line 15. If else. If coin toss. Something or other. So if user dot age equals heads else. If coin toss blah something. We're gonna steal you because we can. Copy. We're just gonna bounce back and forth. I'm gonna get iffy. If coin toss equals heads, curly brace, followed by the, yeah, two sets of curl. I don't think we have, we have the variable message. Is that what's going on? Variable image. Gotcha. You're thinking outside the box. Very cool. Very cool. I like their style. Yes. Close it off. We're gonna try this over multiple lines. Don't worry. <laughs> Copy. Do 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 variable. Else, variable image law copy. Now I wonder if I need the parentheses. Parenthesis, parenthesis. The variable message parentheses. I think I'm okay because we've got stuff. Maybe because it's all on one line. Yeah, that's why, because it's all on one line. So we're good. If we had it split, then then we could use uh or drop down multiples, then then we wouldn't be doing our thing. Let's run it. Green check mark, maybe. Brain check mark in the bag. Two at the bottom of the file. Call react.dom render. Pass images the first argument. Get element for the second. Click run. Refresh the browser several times. Does the picture change? Let's find out. Over. I'm really liking React a lot. The more I use it, the more I enjoy it. The only part I don't enjoy is the amount of boilerplate code to write for every component. Meh. Yeah, that, that sounds like it could be... That can be slightly soul-crushing. Okay. React... Something. React DOM dot render... Mm. Oh god. Copy and pasting and we're running. Okay, we've got a puppy. If we click Whoa 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 whoa. Click run. Refresh the browser several times as the picture change. I do run again, is it supposed to change on me? It does change. First we had a dog and now a cat. Then we get another dog. And another dog and a, and a kitty again. Okay, cool. And if it breaks, then we'll end up with both. Um cat dog abomination. 
All right. Next, 11 of 16. Doesn't feel like it, but we are making progress. Okay. There's a more compact way to write conditionals in JSX than ternary operator. Oh. That is the that is the other way. I said then, not the. The more compact there's a more compact way to write conditionals in JSX. The ternary operator. Ternary? There we go. Ternary operator. More syllables. The ternary operator works the same way in React as it does in regular JavaScript. However, it shows up in React surprisingly often. React, ah, not React, son of a, I just, you know, I read like the first letter or two, we've gone over this, and then I just guess, it's like cruise control. Get the first couple things input, and then just straight down. Not React, recall. Recall how it works. You write X, question mark, Y, colon, Z. What the? I don't remember ever doing that in JavaScript, and they didn't mention it in jQuery, so no, I don't recall any of that. This is not a thing. They're, they're pretending it's a thing. They just don't want to admit that they didn't teach it in their JavaScript section. Fine by me. I didn't write the JavaScript section. Recall how it works. You write x question mark y colon z, where x, y, and z are all JavaScript expressions. When your code is executed, x is evaluated as either true or false. If x evaluates to true, then the entire ternary operator returns y. If x evaluates to false, then the entire ternary operator returns z. Here's a nice explanation. If you need a refresher, it's very if else kind of, you know, right? That's what's happening. Oh, Topher, it's shorthand for if else. Well, that's why it seems like if else. Why the f didn't they just say if else? What, what is this? Why ternary operator? It took them 98 days to bring up the term ternary operator when they've been calling it if else for the other 90 the consistency thing right come on i can't be the only one uh i'm the only one bx inc forever sucking that's what we'll need to change we'll need to change the honest and unmerciful unmerciful to uh forever sucking ridiculous All right, what are we looking at? Here's a nice explanation if you need a refresher. Here's how you might use the ternary operator in a JSX expression. Variable, headline, h1, age, greater than or equal to drinking age, question mark, I drink, do teen stuff. That sounds hella questionable. In the above example, if age is greater than or equal to drinking age, then headline will be h1 by drinks, otherwise headline will equal h1 do team stuff. 1. Take a look at app.js on line 14, down here. Replace x, y, and z with the following three expressions. You have to decide which is x, which is y, and which is z. Heads should return kitty. Tails should return doggy. Okay. Okay. So. Don't mind me. Before we pull the trigger here. I can use the blank conditional operator in JavaScript. Well, it's just if else. So yeah, if blah, then blankety blank or blankety blank. Right? So we're going to apply that same logic over here. So coin toss. If coin toss, uh, dog heads should return kitty. Oh, should I be trying slightly harder? 
if blank blank buy drinks, do teen stuff, if blank blank heads should return kitty. How do I tell which one's where? Kitty image. Oh, if heads is kitty. There we go. Copy. If heads. Then. Y is kitty. Because kitty is heads. Which means tails is doggy. It's the gener generic unloved else. The mystery has been solved. Although if we did the correct formatting, even though we were supposed to copy, which we've got a green check mark and a dog. Beautiful, beautiful. If we run it again, does it change? Perhaps not. It does change because it's the coin toss. How cool. All right, everything is working swimmingly. Beautiful, beautiful. Next. Okay, 12 of 16. Oh, we are... I am slowly making progress, but we're doing good. Go time. Go time. We're going to cover one final way of writing conditionals in React. The AND operator. Like the ternary operator, AND is not React specific, but it shows up in React surprisingly often. In the last two lessons, you wrote statements that would sometimes render a kitty and other times render a doggy and would not have been the best choice for those lessons. And works best in conditionals that will sometimes do an action but other times do nothing at all. Here's an example. Variable tasty equals unordered list, list item, applesauce, baby, and list pizza. Age less than 15 and Brussels sprouts. Age less than 20 and list item oysters. Age less than 25. Uh, not less than, greater than. Ha ha ha, you. Age greater than the last two, 15 and 20, my bad. And then followed by age greater than 25 and grandpa. Okay, there we go. There we go. We solved it. Age greater, greater, and greater. There we go. Okay. Every time you see and in this example, either some code will run or else no code will run. One. You've been building a React website all about your favorite foods and a tiny cat. What do you need, furry animal? We're very close to the end. We're on 12 of 16. I mean, it's not like we can touch the end, but it's really close. If we were to get closer, we could touch it. But right now, you're in between me and the end. So right now, if I reach out to touch anything, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be... I'm gonna end up with a handful of cat. Which, you know, there's been worse things than, than that. But, uh... Hey, hey, you're full of love. Um, just go do that somewhere else. Don't knock over the webcam. Yeah, or just type with your feet. Can you move? <sighs> or lay on the keyboard. I'm going to let you have the desk. Because you're typing in French now, or some other weird language. Whatever E-D-R with an accent mark and a Q and a 1 with another mark. That's you. That's your fault. Okay, go time. And you're blocking the reset and run code. I can't see what I'm clicking on. Reset code. Yes. Nice, nice. Okay. We are barely making progress. One, you've been building a React website all about your favorite foods. You're excited to share your website with your friends, and yet, at the same time, you fear the cruel, icy harshness of their judgment. How else do you grow? Oh, bring it. We need the critiquing. That's, that's, how, that's how it works. 
If you can't, the internet is a cold, evil, harsh place. If you can't survive it, then, well, basically death. So, you know, that's that's my two cents. Um, on line 13, use the AND operator to make it so that this expression, list nacho cheese straight out the jar, yo, fascinating, will only appear if judgmental. Uh, if not judgmental. Feel free to use the example code as a guide. Sure. Once you click run, and every time you refresh the browser, there will be a 50% chance that judgmental will be true. Refresh until you see both versions of your list. Will do. So, you're building this. On line 13, use the AND operator. So, line 13, use AND. Um, list. That and blah. Line 13. Do we put it in curly braces? I guess we do. Seems like curly braces. A little can't see down there. I have to bring this up. Okay. That's that's how all this is gonna play out. We're gonna have to share the desk, little cat. Curly brace? No. One curly brace. Not judgmental. Base and that. Base, curly brace. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Run. Maybe. Maybe. It's thinking. It's thinking. My favorite foods. Sushi burrito. Rhubarb pie. Nacho cheese. Straight out the jar. Boiled grapefruit. Boiled grapefruit. Why is that the most disturbing thing out of this entire list? Wow, that came out of nowhere. Um... Run. I didn't know you could boil a grapefruit. They said see both versions of the list, both nacho cheese there and not, so we're just going to keep running it until nacho cheese disappears. Are we doing it wrong? Is ours skewed and more than 50% higher than... Once run... And every time you refresh, there will be a 50% chance that this will be true. Refresh until you see both. They already gave the green check mark, so we're probably just going to bounce because we hit it like four or five times. And we're just we're getting a lot of nacho. There it is. It's there. Boom. Gone. Nacho cheese is missing. And boiled grapefruit is still staring at us. That's check 13. Grapefruit free. The array method dot map comes up often in React. It's good to be in the habit of using it alongside JSX. If you want to create a list of JSX elements, then dot map is often your best bet. It can look odd at first. Variable strings, home, shop, about me. Variable list items, string dot map, function string, return, list, string in the curly races, which is kind of like the equivalent of string for JavaScript with the injection. Uh, unordered list, list items in curly braces. All right, there's a lot going on here in this example. In the above example, blah, we start out with an array of strings. We call dot map on this array of strings, and the dot map calls, uh, and the dot map call returns a new array of lists. On the last line of the example, note that the list items here will evaluate to an array because it's the returned value of dot map JSX. Oh, of dot map. JSX list items don't have to be an array like this, but they can be. 
All right, that's fun. This is fine in JSX, not an explicit array. Unordered list, one, two, three. This is also fine. Variable, list array, one, two, three. Unordered list, list array. Okay, okay. We're doing, we're, we're still alive. We can kind of follow, a little fuzzy, but we're, we're okay. We're okay. You can see a dot map call is partially set up. Dot map call, dot map call. Where? Oh, right here, line six. Ha, huh, okay, good, good, good. All right. You can see dot map call is partially set up on line eight. There. On line eight, write a return statement. The return expression should be a list element containing the person parameter. Feel free to use the first example as a guide. So just list, curly braces, and then person, I think. I want to do this, but with person in the middle. Is that wrong? Maybe it is. Let's find out how wrong we are. I know how wrong I am. Eh? Exactly. Exactly. So, one, two, listing, and we're listing curly brace person. Uh, hopefully, the internet doesn't blow up. We're gonna run it. Kaboom. I think it's going to be a green check mark or an angry red error. Yeah, nice. Dot maps inner function should return list. Okay. Steven missed a step. Write a return state. Oh, I didn't write return. Ah, that's right, you slimy. Un okay, good, good, good. Yes, yes. Let the rage out, Steven. Tab return. We were so close. So close. They also have a semicolon there. The almighty semicolon. Close that from the top with the return that they so nicely asked for in bold. That we neglected to include. And we're running that green check mark. Yes, good green check mark. On line 12, down yonder, call react on render. We're calling and we're calling. Am I calling? For react dom dot renders first argument, write a ul in between the ul tags. Use curly braces. People list variable. Curly braces, people list variable, skin dot, dot nonsense copy paste and kitty your ass is still blocking the run button. Ugh. Row Revos. Are. All right, that works. Okay. When you make a list in JSX, sometimes your list will need to include something called keys. Unordered list, key example one, key example two, key example three. A key is a JSX attribute. The attribute's name is key. The attribute the, the attribute's value should be something unique, similar to an ID attribute. Keys don't do anything that you can see. React uses them internally to keep track of lists. If you don't use keys when you're supposed to, React might accidentally scramble your list items into the wrong order. Not all lists need to have keys. A list needs keys if either of the following are true. 
One, the list items have memory from one render to the next. For instance, when a to-do list renders each item, must remember whether it was checked off, the items shouldn't get amnesia when they render. Good to know. Good safety tip. Cool. Two, a list order might be shuffled. For instance, a list of search results might be shuffled from one render to the next. Okay, avoid, avoid shuffling. Avoid amnesia when things need to be remembered when checking. If neither of those conditions are true, then you don't have to worry about keys. If you aren't sure, then it never hurts to use them. If you have to ask, that's one of those, one of those situations. Okay, one. On line eight, give your list a key attribute. What should key's value be? In this case, the answer is surprisingly tricky. Dot map is going to loop over your return statement on line 8, creating a new list with a new key attribute on each loop. You need every key to be unique. How can you get dot map to produce a, new, a unique key each time it loops? First, add an I parameter. You can access each element's unique index. Variable people list equals people dot map function person comma i now you can get a unique key on each loop by adding this attribute to your list e person underscore plus i okay i i can i can see what they're what they're doing now we just have to piece this nightmare together all right Variable react require react variable react dom require react dom variable people good 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 variable people list people dot map function person return list person and that's what we'll be changing that is what we are going to be changing for some reason are we just swapping it out with this is that is that what's going on down here I don't think so. Little kitty, don't you put... I know you're getting sleepy, but don't put your head on that keyboard. You're right in the, the F1 to, to D key range, and there's a whole lot of interesting shit you can do with that. God forbid your little kitty paw presses F5 and refreshes the page. Worst things will... Worst things have happened than refreshed web page, but still. There, there's a cat right here on the desk area sleeping <sighs> she can okay we're doing good we're doing good on the top line eight give your your list a key attribute okay so list right here key key equals thing uh you know what, basically it's going to be going to be, here's the answer, app's going to loop over, return, a new list, new key, you need every key to be unique, you can get, first add an I parameter, you can access each element's unique index, variable list, people.map, function person, oh, I need to add this, so I need to do comma I, that's a one, you slimy f Variable people list people dot map function person comma i check we've added the i here which means we can add the i key and you know what it should be e we'll give it single quotes but the curly and we're going to basically do the exact same thing they have person is that right maybe space plus i yeah that'll be okay and if not we learn by falling on our face repeatedly that is why we are here 
and we're running and things are slowly doing something, we either get a big green check mark or an angry red error message. Or it's just going to sit there and be confused and never load. You know what? I'm looking at it. I forgot, uh, forgot the underscore. Yep. You bastard. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're just going to refresh the web page. Okay. Hey, it remembered. Okay, it has the odd. Let's add the underscore. And let's try running that. If it if it blows up in our face, say, nope, green check mark. Boom! In your face, Code Academy. Nice. Next. Hey, wow. 15? Really? It came out of nowhere. Okay. 15 of 16. We are, we are right there. We are on the edge. Okay. You can write React code without using JSX at all. Son of a bitch. What the hell do they mean? We just spent the last two days coming to terms with all of this. What do they mean we don't have to do any of this? You can write React code without using that's all. The majority of React programmers do use JSX, and we will use little kitty. You are putting your face on F two through six. Come on, can't do that. But you're so sleepy, and I don't want to move you. This is a real dilemma. You know, I, I don't think they're really mapped to do anything. I haven't pressed, aside from F5, I haven't pressed any of the F keys in the last, like, four years, so it's probably about time to get some use. Cat sleeping on them, that's probably okay. Alright, we can still scroll just fine, so that's good. Not like when she touches the freaking command or control key and then everything locks up and I'm stuck there doing nothing. I digress. Focus, Stephen. Focus. The majority of React programmers do not use JSX, and we will use it. Uh, and we will use it for the remainder of this tutorial, which is one more section. They act like we're committing to it for the next six days. Doesn't matter for the remainder of this tutorial. But you should understand that it's possible to write React code without it. The following JSX expression variable h1 equals h1 hello world can be written without jsx like this variable one equals react dot created create element h1 null hello world i'm really confused and i don't know how to process this this is not fun i don't know if this is the better way if this is the industry standard but it's not sitting well right now. Maybe it's because it's only our second day of React, but who knows? When a JSX element is compiled, the compiler transforms the JSX element into the method that you see above. React.createElement, parentheses, every JSX element is secretly a call to React.createElement. I like the JSX format better. Maybe that's less professional? I don't know. We won't go in depth into how React.createElement works, but you can start with the documentation if you'd like to learn more. We'll look at it. We look. Take a look at the following JSX element variable greatest div ever. I am div. In app.js, create the element above without using JSX. Use the example as a guide. I guess it's the null thing that bothers me. I can see that there's an H1, and I can see the hello world. 
It also bothers me that there's a, a comma in there and there isn't one up here, but whatever. But React top level API. React is the entry point to the React library. If you use React in a script tag, these top level APIs are available on the React Global. If you use ES6 with NPM, you can write import React from React. If you use ES5 with NPM, you can write variable React require React. Okay, good, good. It's important to note that I only understood about 37% of the words used in this paragraph. Um, first off, NPM? No? Nobody? Okay, good, good, good. Uh, next bit, ES5. Also confused? Not important. That's probably why they said they won't discuss it now, but uh, if we need to know, we've, we've got references. Cool, cool. And we're closing this, and we're closing that. Time to take you and shove things. Ofers coming in, hitting us with knowledge. NPM node package manager. You see that? Ask and you shall receive. Oh, ECMA script 5. Sounds super official. Noted. Cool, cool, okay. Both, both of those mysteries have been solved. Um, now we get to take this. We are right there. We're at the edge. 15 of 16. I just have to use my tiny mind to figure out how the circle fits in the square. Or vice versa. Whatever is easier. We're taking variable u, and it looks like this. So we're going to take u, because we can. I know normally we get to type everything out ourselves, but we can use that as our template. Greatest driver ever. Copy. Eh. React.create element. Um, split, good. H1. We want div. Uh, just div. Tread lightly, Stephen. Tread lightly. Div. Equals. Maybe that's the null. Hmm. I don't know, but I'm going to leave null for now. Maybe that's the space? No, 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 it's not the space. Let null do its thing. Hello, world. And there's a space. So two commas. We're going to do I am div. And we're just going to do a comma between each one. And see, see how it feels about that. We're going to run this. And we wait. Death! React create elements. Third argument should be I am div. Well, it was. Maybe it's the quotes or the commas. I don't know why they had commas in the other one. I was just monkey see, monkey do, man. I'm not good at this. <laughs> this is day day two, right? Running. Green check mark. Beautiful. Maybe the person who wrote the instructions is just super inconsistent, or they had a team of like three to five people working on this. Everyone was just throwing stuff together, and there was probably some inconsistency. That's probably what happened. But I like the, the idea that one person wrote this to spite me. <laughs> uh, crazy person's choice, right? That's definitely not what happened. All right, next. 
Hey, we did it. Congratulations. What's the, the webcam's blocking the badge? Something about JSX. Way cool. Congratulations. You've completed the unit on JSX. You've learned a wide variety of JSX concepts. If you don't feel like you've mastered them all, that's okay. These concepts will come up again and again throughout this course and the following courses. You are now ready to put your JSX knowledge to use. It's time to move on to the next major topic, React Components. Awesome. Way cool. You made it out alive, just barely. Your first React Component. That is the next lesson. Creating your first React Component start lesson. We will take a peek at what's to come for tomorrow. Day 98 is coming to an end. Day 99 will begin here. React applications are made out of components. What's a component? A component is a small reusable chunk of code that is responsible for one job. That job is to is often to render some HTML. The terms component, React component, and component instance all refer to the same thing. Take a look at the code below. This code will create and render a new React component. Variable React require React. Variable React DOM require. Variable my component class. React.create class render function return blah. React DOM render. First argument, second argument. A lot of that code is probably unfamiliar. However, well, I don't know. Well, I guess maybe the beginning portion. Like from here up, mostly. A lot of that code is probably unfamiliar. However, you can recognize some JSX in there as well as React DOM dot render. Yes, true. They can read my mind. When you're going to unpack that, oh, we are going to unpack that code one small piece at a time. By the end of this lesson, you will understand how to build a React component. Okay, that is what is on the horizon for tomorrow. That's 10 sections of fun waiting for us. For day 99. In the meantime, we are back now on this. Where do we currently stand? We are at 28% uh, way through learning React JS Part 1 here at Code Academy with 1,141 points and 156 badges. Way cool. All right, well, that is it for today. Thank you all to whoever stopped by to view or comment. We've got N Tact Man and, uh, of course, Topher. Thanks again. The support is greatly, greatly appreciated, as always. And with that said, we are closing down the stream. Day 98 officially over. Stop stream. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it.